All right, what's going on everyone? Uh, it's the unlucky one back from the dead. Uh, yes, I haven't posted a video in like two to three years, probably even more to be honest. Um, let's just say I've been very busy, but now I have a little more time on my hands. So I'm gonna start you know, trying to make more videos as much as I can, um, even though I have other things coming up. But the last video I had was uh, pretty much a exhaust install. A catback install was a Borla. Um, then I had like a reaction video. I was trying different things, okay? So uh, don't, don't get me on that. But anyways, I have added a few other things to the GTI. I still have it, it's in good condition. Uh, you know, I'll honestly, in this video, I'll show you what I have exactly done to it. But I just have some, you know, minor exterior mods and then I have some internal mods to make it a little faster. So I'll be sure to show you guys that in this video and yeah. All right, bet, so we basically teleported to the local car parking lot but uh, this is basically my GTI um, as you can see I have some wheels on there that I bought from ECS tuning um, I also it took me a while to find like uh, some pretty good uh, coilovers but I have some coilovers on there and they have their uh, adjustable uh, camber on it as well so that's pretty nice they are the uh, BC coilovers if anyone is wondering um, I think I actually called the BC BR series um, so yeah that one's good um, but that's pretty much all I really have for the exterior except for um, I also honestly have this too very subtle but I really I really like it a lot it's the Aerofab um, little like wing extension it was such an annoying task to put on I'm not gonna lie as you can see here, I had a bolt in basically it into the plastic. Um, you know, I basically got this for a reason, and I, you know, I bolted it and everything because I know that you know I'm not going to uh, really take it off. It's kind of something I knew that I was going to have on for like a super long time. Um, so that's what that looks like. It's a nice little lip extension. Um, I don't, I don't plan on getting any other spoiler in the future and honestly it just looks like it's stock like it looks like it was meant to be on the car or meant to look like that so yeah this is basically the height I could honestly go much lower especially the front two you could see like it's not that low um, I could definitely go much lower but because I do daily this car a lot um, I don't really want to you know make it any lower than it is and plus when I do um, take this car out and I you know drive uh, I tend to have a lot of friends inside so the car obviously does get heavier and it does get a little lower um, and I've had ran into problems before with a different tire size um, to where I was like rubbing a lot um, and actually so much that I have I think part of the inner fender uh, on that side right there was like pretty much a hole through it so that's why I didn't want to do that uh, put it any lower but I mean if you look at it from afar like it looks you know pretty clean pretty simple um, but I do plan on uh, getting a front lip because I did have a front lip on here it was a Maxton I'm not sure if it was a version one or two but it was a Maxton front lip it was super nice uh, but that's when my car was kind of lower so I like was on the highway I hit a tire it was a, it's a long story and then yeah pretty much was a massive hole in it so I just took it off it was really ugly <laughs> um, and I just threw it away but basically I've been trying to find like other lips to buy lately and I found one that's very similar I think it's like the like the newer version of the lip that I had um, but for some reason uh, those are held uh, you know until August so if you order it now you know I would get it not until like late August or something and I'm not sure if I'll be here until late August so I wouldn't say it's the most ideal thing to do right now so I'm just gonna leave that but I mean like I said it's it's pretty low it's not you know crazily high or anything I think it's super nice the back is tucked really nice um, I could even really show you the fitment too I'll try to at least uh, you see like it pretty much goes on the rim right there like here's the fender 
and it's like pretty flush with the rim so I could even lower it more like I said um, but would I want to probably not it's about a finger but if anyone would like to know the tire specs uh, these are 235s um, and it's I believe it's 35 oh here it is even better so it's 235 35 by 19 so these are 19 inch wheels um, that's why they maybe might look a little big but I think it fits the GTI perfect as for the interior or the engine mods I would show this it's not much it's not that pretty it's pretty much stock uh, still got the main cap on top um, spark plugs coil packs everything is stock other than um, this intake obviously this is the Cobb intake I think it's called the like the Cobb big big style or, or something Cobb big SF intake I think it was actually um, so I did get that it actually does have a cover and I've been uh, rolling with the cover for like a good year or two um, but I just decided to take it off just to see if it would sound any louder um, cause it does sound loud but you know obviously if you take the top off you're gonna hear more of the intake noise and I did hear a lot so I actually do prefer it with it off the inside I can show you I, again inside nothing is different to it's again pretty much all stock um, I did though get a uh, BFI stick shift knob um, this is the silver polished one and I can even show you too what I did to the front is that um, usually so this is this is the S version right of the GTI so uh, it is the base model but you see here this this black piece it actually comes red stock right but um, my brother and I very long time ago like probably like four years ago and I'm still surprised it's still lasting but we wrapped this uh, with some like black 3M tape and it took a long time um, I'm sure people who have taken off the grill and taken off this red piece know how long that takes uh, so if, if you don't go on YouTube and you'll search it up you can you can see you need loads of credit cards and anyways I don't want to get into all that but pretty much it just when I did this I really love the way it looks but you see it's more like it kind of fits in more all together now because there was just one little bit of red piece there it didn't make any sense um, but yeah future maybe I'll do something else with this car honestly I'm just thinking about going to an R in the future just because you know front-wheel drive is nice and all but that R though uh, the R would be super dope I do also I didn't I'm not sure if I mentioned it but in this uh, on this car too I do have a cap back it's the Borla S type cap back so I can also show a video on that as well um, but yeah pretty much if you guys have any other questions just let me know put it in the comment section if you want me to review something more in depth like the exhaust the exhaust sound you know because I did a video like three plus years ago I don't even know how long ago so if you want me to you know make a video of what it sounds like now because it's gotten like much deeper and it sounds better now I think um, yeah just let me know and I can do a review on that part of the car so yeah thank you guys so much for watching um, and I'll be making another post hopefully <laughs> Uh, soon.